Hello there. It's time for the summer season in Stardew Valley and I finish off with what I started doing in the last video. I go into the Quartz Muncher's room and she wants me to play a video game with her. This is a good opportunity for me to get between her legs so I play with her. She then drops some W Riz on me saying that I know my weight around the joystick implying that I know my weight around my own penis. She wants me for real. I then go to Pierre's and tell him that his daughter wants to spread her legs for me and that I would beat him within an inch of his life. After some casual threats of violence, I buy some hot pepper seeds. I know I said it earlier not long ago but this time I really do finish off what I started in the last video. I plant all my hot pepper seeds and then I pass out before I could finish watering all my peppers. Now my farm is going to look weird because there's going to be that one little bit that's grown less similar to how testicles work. One testicle always hangs lower than the other. I'm not sure if that's the right analogy to use here. Anyway, the local homeless man admits he was on my property at night and that he found me unconscious. I'm going to force to accuse him of sexual assault for my own financial gain. I then drop some W Riz on this cute little redhead and tell her that sometimes I need to wear sunglasses because my future is too bright. So anyway, Mayor Luce has been fucking Marnie because he asked me to find his lucky purple shorts and I find them in Marnie's room. Unfortunately, I can't get in Marnie's room because my friendship with Marnie isn't high enough. I then spot Mayor Lewis heading over to Marnie so that he can fuck us some more. Maybe he'll be able to find his lucky erectile dysfunction shorts without my help. Alex asks me if I think he'll become a professional in sports and I of course give him false hope because I'm a bad person. I then complete a community scent bundle because I'm the top G of Stardew Valley. My field of peppers really does look weird. I apologize to anyone who's getting OCD from this. I then set up some tappers so that I can consume the tree juices. My peppers finish growing a few days later and I pick my peppers like I'm a cotton. Hold on, I've just been advised by my legal team to no longer continue this joke. My farming skill reaches level 5 and I pick the tiller upgrade. I give the quartz muncher a pepper and she asks me what she's supposed to do with it. So you eat quartz but not peppers. Makes about as much sense as my love life. A few days later, more peppers have grown and I obviously pick my peppers. What else do you expect me to do with grown peppers? I give the cute little redhead Penny some hot pepper jelly with a very special secret ingredient. I then finish setting up the area that the chickens are going to be allowed to freely roam around. Demetrius then sets up a mushroom farm for me in a small cave nearby. I'm not sure if growing mushrooms is legal but the legal loophole regardless is that mushrooms are for science. Also please check out Alpha Rigs with my affiliate code down below in the description. Now it's time for the Luau Festival and there's a politician here who was most likely on Epstein's Island so I don't trust him. Anyway, the soup is made, the first batch of mushrooms are done. Next thing that we're gonna do is start cooking meth out of an old RV. I then pay a little visit to May Lewis's girl and buy some chickens for my farm. Now we have chickens on the farm so we can get eggs and make some mayo. There is a storm during the summer for multiple days so I take this opportunity to upgrade my watering can. There is a choo choo train passing Sardew Valley and I follow the wise words of Big Smoke. Follow that train and then get naked and beat my dick in the local hot tub. The following day I find a wizard making crystal meth and I agree not to snitch on him as long as he agrees to admit that he's a sex offender. 